Many Catholic teachings have parallels in scientific discovery. It has occurred to me to think of death as being parallel with the concept of quote unquote what's called an event horizon. That is the event horizon mm -hmm. around a black hole that each soul upon mm -hmm. death of its, I'm waiting for it to move ahead, physical body, uh, let's see, physical body crosses an equivalent of an event horizon. I'm caught in a black hole here. A kind of wormhole out of this <laughs> physical universe into heaven, purgatory, where I am right now, or hell. From an early earthly perspective, time seems to have stopped for that dead person, okay? Crossing this interior yep. event horizon. On the other hand, the dead person's soul, having crossed the event horizon to heaven, purgatory, or hell, accelerates to the speed of light where time no longer has meaning, time is eternal and one. This is Barbara from Seattle. I think I'm, I'm trapped in one of those wormholes right now. If you followed that question, you win a koopy doll. Go ahead, Father. I know. Well, actually, the question's a very intelligible question, Barbara. I mean, uh, there are some, you know, instances, you know, where if you, you know, if you are accelerated to the speed of light, uh, for sure, you know, time would stand still inside that perspective. But of course, the problem is you, you are vaporized as a physical entity. Uh, now, if you, you, know, you, you want to really be careful, though, and, and same thing within, you know, the event horizon of a black hole, right? Uh, and, and by the way, uh, you know, time wouldn't stand still at the event horizon of the black hole, uh, but that's, that's a technical thing that we can talk about later. But the, the main thing that you want to do is be very, very careful, again, about making analogies between what's going on in the physical domain and, and, and closely paralleling it with something that is uh, uh, obviously transphysical, uh, you know, in, in the domain. Uh, you know, you don't want to say that the that the spirit form that's that's leaving right um, the body uh, of a uh, you know a person who's clinically dead uh, you know is being accelerated at the speed of light or is in a wormhole when it's sitting there in in uh, in, in the uh, operating room mm -hmm. and you don't want to say that it's going through a wormhole when it moves to that other uh, domain because of course as you you probably know when you go through a, a wormhole you'll come out somewhere else either in the physical universe or you'll come out somewhere else on on, on another side of a black hole, mm -hmm. maybe to a white hole or something of that nature in the, in the same physical universe. So, so you're really not making you know, the, the crossover to a, a true transphysical domain, which is what these people report and what Jesus promises in the next life. So, I mean, again, I would go back to the way I would view, you know, the, the best and safest way is to look at God as an unrestricted act of understanding, an unrestricted act of thinking, right? Again, separate that off from Donovan's brain for a moment. Oh, and we're just back think there. of it okay. as, you know, an un <laughs> back there. An unrestricted act of thinking and and that there's actually two thoughts which are restricted in their parameter, that of the whole physical universe, that of heaven. And of course that God is the one that moves us uh, through his own good agency from the thought of this universe to the thought of a heavenly one without any necessary parallelism uh, between the two. Mm -hmm. Now you can have all kinds of interesting analogies between here and there, like the analogy of light is clearly present, but you don't want to equate physical light with the transcendent light you know, that you're seeing in, 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 in this heavenly domain, that's a completely different thing. And so you've got to, you've got to really be careful. There, there's, of course, the appearance of that, you know, uh, effulgence, the appearance of, you know, to, to us, you know, a spiritual trans, uh, translucency and, and, mm -hmm. and effulgence, yes. But, you know, you don't want to go too much beyond our own perception of a similarity and say there's some sort of equation between physical reality and heavenly or transphysical reality. Best to keep the two domains right. sacred, uh, as separate, excuse me, and get, you know, keep God as the agency that's enabling us to move from one to the other.